Welcome to Musology. We are excited for you and your students to experience high engagement music based learning. In this demo, we'll explain why Musology works, highlight some exciting data, and show you exactly how to use our intuitive learning platform. Let's jump in. Musology is based on the premise that many students struggle with learning, yet they know the words to all their favorite songs. That's because music directly activates brain regions, attention, motivation, memory, and emotion that are critical for successful learning. When we ask educators about the greatest challenges their students face today, that's the list right there. So we wondered, what if we assembled a team of hit songwriters and learning experts to create high quality music videos that teach the fundamentals of an entire subject? We started with pre-algebra and the results have been amazing. Let's highlight some data. This is from a small scale randomized control trial conducted with incoming sixth graders at an underperforming middle school using a gateway topic, fractions. Students were randomly assigned to the musology group or a control group blocked by performance on a pre-test diagnostic. The musology group watched three instructional videos that used music and singing to teach, whereas the control group watched three instructional videos that presented the same information conversationally and did not include music or songs. You'll see that the pre-test average was comparable for both groups. While there was improvement from baseline in both conditions when tested after a three-day delay, the musology group showed statistically significant outperformance compared to the control group. What's even more interesting? After a seven-day delay, the control group's performance dropped, almost to baseline levels, whereas the increased performance from the musology group held constant. The next study we'd like to highlight presents data from a summer school program attended by about 300 students who had failed 8th grade math. Across musology topics, students' pre-test average was 39% and their post-test average was significantly higher at 70% after using musology. This is important in itself, but even more interesting is looking at the distribution of these test scores. We can see here that before using musology, we have a typical bell-shaped curve with a tail towards the higher scores and a mode of 30%. When we ask educators what they expect the distribution to look like the first time students post-test after using musology, math teachers expect the mode to jump to 50 or 60%. However, the first time students post-test after using musology, the mode jumps to a perfect score, 100%, and we observe a non-normal distribution. We lose that bell-shaped curve. This defies basic understanding of distributed characteristics of a group, and we think that's pretty amazing. This last study presents results from a district diagnostic administered to about 200 students who were underperforming in math for their grade level. On the diagnostic pretest before using musology, only 3% of these students passed the assessment with a score of 70% or higher. After four weeks of using musology, 33% of these students passed the district diagnostic. That's an 11-fold increase in academic performance. Lastly, over a series of studies, musology has been scientifically proven to boost academic performance, engagement, and self-confidence. Musology has received two competitive research grants from the National Science Foundation and has also been recognized as a top innovative platform by the National School Boards Association. 95% of students improved their math scores from below average to significantly above average after only using musology for four weeks. And 100% continues to be the most frequent in-platform test score observed across students, irrespective of district, school, or class. So, let's show you how to get started so that you and your students can start benefiting from Musology right away. Musology can be used in school and at home and was designed to support classroom-based instruction as well as remote learning. With our intuitive learning platform, teachers and students can get started in minutes. Musology also enables teacher-directed, self-paced, and student-directed learning. To log in to Musology, go to musology.com and click the Login button. Here we are at the Login page. We're logging in using a demo teacher account so you can see Musology from a teacher's perspective. The first time you log in, you'll see some introduction content. Otherwise, as an active user, you'll see the most recent assignment you've made, recently watched videos, and a high-level overview of how your students are doing. Musology works using a proven three-step method. First, students answer a short five-question math trivia quiz to unlock a music video. This activates pre-existing knowledge, 
primes learning and provides a rough baseline measure of what the student knew before watching the video. Students only take this warm-up quiz the first time they attempt to watch a video. Step 2. Students watch musology videos as many times as they need to learn the information. We recommend at least 3 to 5 views as repetition is key to learning. In the same way that we learn the words to songs after hearing that song repeatedly, watching a musology video repeatedly helps the information stick. We've also found that on the first or second view, students sometimes attend to the novelty of a video or higher level information. Repeated views help students process and learn more detailed information. Step 3. Students take math challenges to earn achievements and awards. Each video has a series of three iterative challenges associated with it. Students can earn silver, gold, and blue records as they level up and earn 100% on a given challenge level. We'll show you the challenge system shortly. For now, let's visit the heart of the Musology site, the videos page. Here you'll see Musology's library of pre-algebra videos grouped by category. While our videos are fun and creative, our video titles are not. Instead, the video title tells you exactly what the video is about. Videos typically last from three and a half to four and a half minutes and tend to map to what's covered in two to three weeks of typical classroom instruction. Let's watch a little bit of a crowd favorite, solving one-step equations. To solve one-step equations, what you got to do is find values for the variables to make equality true. Variables are the unknowns, you need to find their solutions. When the left and right are equal, you have resolution. Equations are mathematical statements with an equal sign. And you need to solve these for the variables each and every time. Here is the way to solve one step equations. Steps are the same for all operations. Here is the way to solve one step equations. Here is the way the steps are the same. Identify the variable and then do the opposite from both sides of the equal sign. Calculation, your calculation, check your calculation. Identify the variable, a letter like X, Y, or Z. Find what's added or subtracted to it is what you need to see. Then do the very opposite, called inverse operation. What you do to one side, you gotta do to the other side of the equation. Do the same thing to both sides of the equation. Isolate the variable, get it alone by doing your computations. And for your work to be complete, always check your calculations. Always check your calculations. Uh. Uh. Here is the way to solve one step equations. Here is the way the steps are the same. Although students have to answer warm-up questions to unlock a video the first time, teachers do not. Instead, teachers can watch any video on demand. Let's check out the challenges. Each video has a series of three iterative challenges that are associated with it. These challenges progress from silver, which establishes basic understanding of the information and consists largely of multiple choice questions, to gold, which establishes proficiency and tends to be a mix of multiple choice and multiple select questions, to blue, which establishes advanced application of the information and is usually all free response. Let's take a look at the silver challenge. Solve x plus 7 equals 12. I'll get 5. What is an equation? It's a mathematical statement with an equal sign. I'm going to answer this incorrectly so you can see what happens. Next, we have the gold challenge, which is usually multiple choice and multiple select. It'll be more difficult than the silver challenge. First, we have to solve 56 equals x minus 43. That answer is 99. 
This answer is 34. And here we have a multiple select problem. The solution is 7. Which equation could be the question? Select all that apply. As you can see, this is more challenging for students and the information from the videos doesn't map so tightly to the questions being asked. Lastly, we have the blue challenge, which is usually all free response and is the most difficult of all the challenges. Here students are challenged to extend and apply the information presented in the videos. The students can enter answers using their keyboard, mouse, or touchscreen if they're on a tablet or a smartphone. I'll get this answer wrong on purpose. Students move through challenges consecutively and need to earn 100% to level up and access the next challenge level. However, teachers can access any challenge on demand as well as the answer key. Next, we're going to showcase a really effective site feature, creating playlists for your students. Playlisting is a great way to direct student learning and ensure they focus on material that maps to your standards and pacing and that students concentrate on topics for which they may need extra support. By creating a playlist, you can group videos and assign them to your students. Begin by clicking Create Playlists and giving your playlist a name. We'll call this one Fractions. Then search by topic or select the videos you'd like to include. We recommend one to two videos per playlist, at most three. You can assign your playlist upon creation or wait for later. I'm going to choose Assign Now. You can then select classes and or individual students to receive the assignment. In this case, we'll pick Class 1 and Taylor Swift from Class 5. Now let's add a message to go along with our assignment. Get 100% on gold, extra credit for 100% on blue. If you'd like, you can choose a start date and a due date for this assignment. We can see at the top that our playlist has been assigned. When your students log in next, they'll see this assigned playlist front and center on their home page. You can edit this playlist at any time by clicking the Edit Playlist button. Here, we see options for renaming a playlist, adding videos, and even deleting the playlist. We also have a reordering option for the videos. Near the bottom, we see the message that we included for our students, who it's been assigned to, and the start and due dates, which can all be edited too. We also have an export grades feature that exports students' performance on this assignment as a CSV file. You can easily monitor your students' performance, progress, and learning growth from the analytics section of the website. Because there are so many ways to slice and dice the data, we're going to use some helpful graphics to highlight analytics features. The overview tab shows you the percentage of challenge questions answered correctly by challenge level and overall, the total number of challenges taken by level, and the total number of silver, gold, and blue records your students have earned by getting 100% on a challenge. You can view these metrics by class and by time. The Performance tab initially displays student performance across all videos and covers the following metrics. Number of videos unlocked, total video views, total number of challenges taken, and number of records earned for each challenge level. You can also sort out all of these metrics in ascending or descending order, and you can do so anywhere you see two triangles together. You can filter this data by class, playlists, individual video, as well as multiple videos. The progress tab shows students' performance for individual videos and covers the following metrics, math trivia score and high score for each challenge level. So you can see where your students started on a given topic and how they're progressing. You can filter this data by class. The Videos tab shows you the percentage of your students who have earned 100% on each challenge level for a given Musology video. You can filter this data by class. Teachers earn awards too. The My Records tab displays your awards. Your teacher records fill based on the percentage of all your students who have earned 100% on a given challenge. Once all your students earn 100%, your record will fill completely. If you hover over a record, you will see a list of students who have earned 100% on that challenge. If you need a reminder of what a particular analytics page displays, simply hover over the question mark in the corner of the page. Finally, we'll show you how to add classes and invite your students to join Musology. Go to the My Student page. At the top, click Add Class. Let's create our first class called Class 1 for 6th grade we'll see a notification that it was created. 
let's add a second class and call it class two for grade seven. Great, now we have two classes created. The next thing we'll do is invite our students. Click the invite students button and we will see two unique class codes, one for each of our classes we've created. Share the relevant invite code with your students based on the class they're in and direct them to museology.com slash join. There, your students will be prompted to enter the invite code you've provided them. Students will then be prompted to create a unique username and a password. Their account will be created and we can see that this student has been added to this particular class. We have a few actions such as sending messages, assigning playlists, removing students, and changing passwords. Let's send a message to our student. Now, when that student logs in, they will have a new message from you. It's important to note that students will be able to receive messages from you, but they will not be able to message you back within the platform directly. You can see your students' usernames in the My Students section of your teacher account. If a student forgets their username, you can remind them. If a student forgets their password, they will have to contact you, as only teachers can reset student passwords, also from the My Students section of the site. Clicking on a student's username in the My Students or Analytics section will take you to that student's individual dashboard. To see a student's activity stream, click on the Activity tab. Here you'll see information like logins, challenges taken, by date and time. As your students progress, this will be filled out more. Let's quickly look at more of the Musology student experience. You'll see that student accounts are similar to teacher accounts with a few notable differences. Front and center on the student homepage is their most recent assignment. This is the fractions playlist we assigned this student earlier. Students can also see their recently watched videos and an overview of their individual stats and achievements. The student video page is identical to the teacher video page. Let's watch this video. Before a student can watch a video for the first time, they have to answer five trivia questions to unlock the video. This helps activate pre-existing knowledge, primes the student for what they're about to learn, and offers a rough baseline measure of what the student knows before watching the video. No matter how students perform on this warm-up, they'll unlock the video and be able to watch it. Teachers can watch all videos on demand. Let's watch the video. You can click the Show Lyrics button to see lyrics in this overlay. This is great for following along with the song. You can also print or see lyrics in PDF form. Students often use this feature for adding notes to the lyric sheet. As you saw before, each video has three different challenges levels. Unlike teachers, students need to earn 100% to unlock the next challenge level, and students must get 100% in a single attempt. Otherwise, they have to take the challenge again. Students may reset the silver and gold challenges at any time. Unlike students, teachers can access challenges on demand as well as see the answer key. The student stats page is similar to the analytics page on the teacher view of Musology. In the overview, students see the percent of challenge questions answered correctly, number of challenges taken, and records earned. This can be filtered by this week or the total. The records page displays records corresponding with every silver, gold, and blue challenge a student attempted with the high score shaded inside the record. The record fills in completely once a student earns 100%. The achievements page shows achievements students have earned for things like login streak, videos unlocked, and so on. Lastly, the progress tab shows the trivia score and the challenge high score for each video unlocked. The assignments page is where students see all of their assignments. At the top, we see the student's most recent assignment, the one we created and assigned earlier. Students can also view any messages you have sent them here. Remember, students cannot respond to your messages, they can only receive them. And that's the student experience. We continue to hear amazing success stories from teachers and students throughout the country experiencing heightened math achievement, self-confidence, and enjoyment of math with Musology. We're excited to welcome you and your students, and for you to start experiencing all of the benefits of Musology. We're here for you. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at any time at support at musology.com.